Hello everyone, today is a Q&A video. So um, in the comments for one of my videos, how to automatically hide rows based on cell value, uh, one of you asked, uh, what if I want to hide rows based on not only the drop down value, the cell value, but based on the value in the rows? And I think that's a really good question. So I'm sharing with you today um, of my solutions. So um, before I jump into that case, let's just recap what we had before quickly. So this is what the video is about um, before. So now let's say we have two countries um, for selection and we have two cell tables here. So one is for Canada, one is for India. Uh, what we are doing with this code is that if you select Indian, then only the Indian table shows. If you select Canada, only the Canada table shows. The, the thing with this is that like basically the value in your cell, in your rows doesn't matter. Like what, what's going to be showing is based on what you have here. However, in this new case that I'm about to show, uh, which rows will be shown actually depend on what row value is here. So here is the new case that I'm showing. So um, for the drop down, we still have just two easy uh, selections just for simplicity. One is saying that only show positive variance. The other is only show negative. And I mean by just those cells. So let's say I have 10 items. The uh, revenue is um, different values. Here is the average. Um, and then my variance is a formula that's uh, calculated based on the item revenue divided by the uh, average. And then of course, some of them are higher than the average, which I conditional format as green. Some are lower, uh, which I conditionally format as red. So if you change uh, the value for um, revenue, then you get different values. So those values can be dynamic as well. So what I'm trying to show now is that if I say only show positive variance, only the positive ones showing. And then if I sh say only show negative, only the negative ones showing. And then let's say if I change this to something else. Um, okay, let me change it to some large numbers. Uh, not large enough. Um, so you can tell for item three, it's positive now. So now let me show if I go back to positive, you see item three is showing here. So uh, the same method as usual, um, I, I'm going to show you how I write the code. I'll just explain to you what the code is about, um, what it means, and then I'll have the code uh, copied in the description, and then you can feel free to copy and paste it to your uh, macro and customize for your purpose. Okay, so let's get started. So basically, this is the code I wrote. Um, and then actually, let me just show you how they look in the macro table. So one thing, um, still the same as the previous videos, this one, this macro needs to be in the same uh, spreadsheet that you have. Uh, in, in the same worksheets. It cannot be going to the modules. It's still a private sub. Uh, da, 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 I, it's a worksheet change. I'm not going into details. You can review the previous videos for those. Uh, but then basically in this macro, let me show it here. And then let me just uh, unhide everything I have here. So, uh, okay, where did my table go? Yeah, okay, so let's look at what the code is about. So for the first one, you actually need to um, deem, uh, define i as integer, and the i actually will be referring to the rows. And then for the rows that we are referring to, we know our scope is row 8 to uh, row 17 in our code. So in here, um, you need to refer to it because um, it's going to be like a loop. So the Excel is going to um, sh uh, show as a loop. And then basically now um, you have um, this part, which is uh, basically how you define the macro. And then next part, the select case until here is basically based on your selection of the value here, um, how the macro is going to react. So in our case here, I 
for simplicity, I have two scenarios. One is the case, one is to show um, is that the taxes show only positive. The next case is show only negative. Um, this value can also be formula driven. So if you are interested in that, you can go into my description. I have another video on, on how to hide rows based on formula driven cells. So I'm not going to go into detail he, for that the, here. Um, and then, so now you have two cases, and then here is the code um, that um, shows you how to hide rows based on the value for the row. So here, what I'm saying is that for i equals a to a 17, which refers to all my rows in scope, if range di, what I mean is that, for example, uh, let's say i equals 8, range d8 is essentially this cell. What I'm saying that is that if for this cell, the value is uh, smaller than zero, then we um, hide entire row is true, which means that we hide it. Um, and then if not, if the value is greater or is equal to zero, then we show them. And then end if, and then you go to the next side, and then you loop this for all the rows you have in scope, and then period. Um, the same for the next case. So the next case is saying that for, for all the conditions here, I only want to show negative variance. So it's the same formula to say, okay, if D8, a value is greater or equal to zero, you know what, now I only want to show negative, so let's hide the row. Otherwise, let's show the row, hidden equals to false, and then you end the if, and then you go to the next row. So here, here we have two loop functions, very easy, um, straightforward. You can make it more complex for your needs, uh, but for my demonstration, this is as simple I, as I get. And then just remember, you end your selection, which is corresponding to this line. You end your if, which is corresponding to this line, and then you end your sub. So then, now you have uh, finished reading the code, save it, and then uh, go back to your uh, cell. You can see this is how it's functioning. Okay, so I hope that this has been helpful to you. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.